Okay, so in this video, I'm going to do an overview of the gra of gradients in Illustrator, CS6. And the gradients work in a very similar way in CS5 and in CS4 for that matter. Okay, so on our toolbar, we have these, um, we have this gradient tool. And what we're going to begin with though is we're going to look at all these different places where the gradients actually are. So what I want to begin with are my swatches. I want to begin just with my, my swatches, which I have right here. On um, the windows I want to open up, I'm going to open up my swatches and my gradient. Um, and even I want to be able to access my color too if I need it. Okay, so I begin with my swatches and I come on into my library. And what I can see as I come into my library is that there is an entire library just filled with gradients. So I could come on in, metals, here they are. So these are all pre-built gradients inside of Illustrator. So I can grab a shape tool, I can draw, and there is my gradient. Now, but what about if I want to change this gradient, this pre-built gradient, gradient that I've created, what if I want to change it around? And better yet, what if I want to actually create my own? Well, let's begin with this one that we've created. Once we have a figure, a shape, an object in Illustrator, it doesn't have to be a shape, it could be a path, it, well they all are paths, but it could be done with the pen tool, um, we can then go in and change it around. So once I have this, I need to have this, this shape selected. Now I can hit the gradient tool, which is J, and I get this little gradient guy. Now, what we can see is that this looks differently. I have a radial I have th this one that I just put in here is a radial gradient. So let's take a look at it in another. I'm going to draw, if we look right here, and we come on in and we draw another shape, this right here would be a linear gradient. So when I hit G, okay, that's the gradient tool, it looks a little bit different. Now, let's dissect this little gradient here. And if I come on right here, I can see, okay, look at this. This is the exact same as what's here. There are three paint buckets. These are the different colors. If I click on this, they are all set up at opacity 100%, and they're 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 very the they they vary in the color gray. Very very similar though, right? Now, what if I wanted to reverse the gradient? Well, I could click it like that, and I'll see how the dark went over there. Okay, so maybe I want to lighten this last one. All I would do is double click. I could change the color. Okay, let's say I wanted to have it hit the shape a little bit differently. Well, I could click this, move it over, so now it hits the shape differently. I could click onto this, I could pull this out, I could, you know, put it in. Okay, there's lots of possibilities. I could move it around. All right, so let's take a look at the this one right here. And again, when I want my gradient, so I just hit the letter G. Now, but with the circle one's a little bit different, right? I can click right in here. I could actually, if I could change the, the shape of the circle, but let's say I wanted to, you know, in general, I could flip this around. Um, if I wanted to make the circle bigger and keep it as the circle, I could, okay? But maybe I want to change the shape of the ellipse around. I can do that too. Um, I can change the color, okay? Uh, there's there are lots of possibilities. Okay, I can you know pull this out further. Actually, there's like nothing there anymore. But I think we get the get the idea. All right, so let's go about creating one of our own. So we have one gradient, we have two gradients, and how do we go about? Let's say I just draw a shape now, and I want to. I'm just going to throw this. Let me just choose a color, any color. Open up. There we go. That's a nice looking color. Okay, so I go on in. I am going to draw now. Draw with this tool. Okay, there we have it. Now, what about if I want to apply a gradient on it? Well, this is the story. Okay, in order to apply a gradient on to this, if I come and I grab this J, nothing happens. It doesn't work. The reason is, is because the first thing, first step you need to do is load in this pre-built gradient, okay? Um, so now, so that, that's the story. You need to load whatever gradient it is, and you'll see on your tool panel there's this little gradient right here. You need to load that in, and then you can go about changing things around. So just adding the color really is not the first way to go. I can come on in. I can change this around. 
Now, what else I could do too is I could click this guy, change the color of this one a little bit. Okay, and that one's it's not totally working. Actually, let me come on in through here. Sometimes I'll find that it works better when I do this. Let's say I wanted to add a little bit of yellow to this. All right, so see that color is changing. Just add a little bit of yellow. Now, if I wanted to add a paint bucket, I could too. I just click and there it is. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm making this gradient as I go along. Okay, again, I can change with how it is fitting on here. If I wanted to, say, straighten it up, I could. Okay, so there we have it. Now, let's say I get to here and I think, hmm, oh, maybe I want, if I want these two to be closer together, all I would do is take this and I could move over that gradient and how much of that color. So this blue color goes right to here and then this color starts. So maybe I could say, hmm, between the space, I want more of that blue. So you, you really have a lot of control in here. Let's say I decided, oh, you know what? I don't like this white color. I want to get rid of it or I don't like this color. I just take it and drag it off and it's gone. Okay, so it's real easy to add and to get rid of colors. Now, if I make a gradient and I like it, I can add it. So I can just come on over to my swatches and click and it will say new gradient swatch. Okay, there it is. And I can apply it to other shapes. And again, it's very easy to come in then and to select the gradients you've already made and to play around with them and change them around. So there's lots of possibilities within gradients. Our main tools working with gradient, we have the gradient tool, um, would be the gradient tool. And the gradient window is the window that we want to work with. Thanks so much.